<clears throat> Alright, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be watching The Boys Season 1, Episode 6. Now, in the last episode, we found out that the V, the super soldier serum that all the soups have been using, is actually, they've been basically manufacturing babies with it. So, it kind of, so it, I'm guessing the soups aren't born. They're not born with their powers, which I kind of thought they were. I thought, they, you know, it was just like genetics, but it kind of seems like they're just kind of manufacturing the superheroes from birth, which is like, okay, I mean, that's pretty fucking OP because then you could just have an infinite amount of superheroes. You don't have to rely on them being born like at random, you know, because it's like how often are you going to get a superhero like Homelander that's born? You know, how often are you going to get a superhero like A-Train or like Queen Maeve? etc you know but no you can just fucking manufacture them so they got them like that so if one dies you got a new one coming i mean you have to kind of raise the baby and let it grow up first but like still by the time like your baby's 18 years old like they're just gonna replace them every like 20 years so you're gonna have a new wave every 20 years you know and like as i was editing the video too okay so starlight was supposed to go on stage at one point in the video and her mom was like her mom made a very interesting comment. She was like, you're a miracle, okay? Like, almost as if you're a miracle, you didn't die as a baby while being experimented and putting the V in you, you know? Like, who knows how many babies die with them trying to inject the V into them and then it doesn't work and then they die. So, I don't know, kind of an interesting comment I noticed while editing. And then we got a really weird, we got a really interesting scene with Homelander and Stillwell at the end right there. Okay. Okay. It turns out Homelander is a big baby. But anyways, I'm gonna stop wasting time. We're just gonna hop right into this episode of The Boys. If you'd like to watch the full length reaction, that will be available on that will be available on Patreon as well. Early access to the next two episodes will also be on Patreon. So let's get started. <laughs> what, is, what is this fucking ad? That was an interesting promo. Damn, dude, that was like a fucking full house promo. After Gary's store, we all thought that. Oh, is that his coworker? Hi, uh, Anthony. Huey's best looking friend since fourth grade. <laughs> uh, her girlfriend? Oh, you didn't. <laughs> Huey gives her this. No, he's telling stories that make Huey look bad. A pet store where he hides behind his jumbo bag of kibbles and bits. Okay, you don't have to tell this one specific story, Anthony, okay? You weren't answering your phone? Like, for all I knew, you were chugging Drano. Damn, I wish my coworkers cared about me this much. If I never, if I just didn't show up to work one day, they would never fucking notice. They would just never, never talk to him ever again. So at least Anthony cares about him. You roll it. My grandfather built- That's me before I start recording. Let's just say we, uh, we, we did a lot of winning. <laughs> yeah, he probably was fucking insanely good at baseball. It's not, it's not fair at all. Sorry? Who put the fucking blanket on the bed? Uh, Randy uh, said that. Randy, why? You fucking asshole. God, Homelander. What just happened? Oh, Homelander's losing it, dude. Hmm, yeah, maybe- Maybe they'll see he's a piece of shit behind the scenes. And it's like, it's starting the show now. And then that's the first step. And people are, you know, they're slowly going to show us who he really is. Oh, hold on, hold on. So no hero was born. None of them. Oh, okay. They're all just kids dosed with the blue shit. All right, that confirms my theory. Fucking Starlight. Damn. Do you think they know? Probably not. However, every single other suit, juiced up lab rats. Okay. Do you see what I'm dealing with? Oh, spot on in him. We go. It's literally Nala when I'm like, when I'm watching shit. She's just doing shit around my room. And I'm like, stop. <laughs> Sheesh. Oh, guys, okay. So I actually, as I'm recording this, I posted Thor Ragnarok on YouTube today, right? And everyone in the comments were like, did you know that Butcher was Surge in Thor Ragnarok? I don't fucking know that because I watched Thor Ragnarok before I started The Boys. But like now it's like, it's like, damn, I probably would have recognized him if I started the show first, then watched Thor Ragnarok. Maybe. 
He looked pretty different, but his voice was like spot on. Cause he had like no facial hair, no hair at all on his head. What are you gonna get to replace me? I'd like to see what big that is. God. Oh no, the publicist got fired. <laughs> and then when she's active, she stabs you in the back. Gets you no, kicked out of the house. Yeah, Starlight went on that rant, and that's now it's like technically the publicist's fault, so she's fired. What could go wrong? I thought. Yeah. At least I don't have to kiss your ass anymore. Yeah. Dude, you literally you never were, bro. <laughs> Okay, the actor who plays the publicist, she does a phenomenal job. She she gets into it. It was actually a mutual decision. She wanted to explore different career paths and- No, no it wasn't. I heard that conversation, no it wasn't. You are a selfish, arrogant child. Oh. Wow. Back in Iowa- Sorry, I'm just a real one. That's what American heroes are. Hmm. I should know, because I wrote it. Yeah. It's all fake. Show a little fucking gratitude and let us do our job. God. Yeah, I, everything you see the superheroes do. Oh, no. I'm gonna save people. You need to reconsider your position in God. seven. God, dude. Star Starlight's in it for the right reason, at least. The reported sexual assault on live TV might tank your stock price. Yeah. If anyone asks me who did it, I'm gonna answer honestly. <laughs> I have a lot to think about. Dude, Stella is so fucking passive aggressive. I I hate the attitude, but she has to, she, she has to she has to keep it corporate. Well, Starlight's in it for the right reason, you know. But Stillwell's agenda is just to make them look as good as possible, and like anything that happens is a hundred percent scripted. It's scripted for a reason to portray a certain image, and Starlight's like, no. Set, go. <laughs> God damn. Go. Nope. Go. No. Dude, he's literally running the entire laugh in like one tenth of a second. Probably less than that. It's not an act. Yeah. I'm just trying to be honest. You really stood for something. Pretty sure that was just written by the marketing guys. It was. Everything was, yes. And I mean, it worked. It, it looks like it worked on Starlight. It inspired Starlight. To want to be a superhero too but now yeah but she didn't know it was all fake during them obviously yeah make the shit cool as a cucumber he's growing up calling people cunts or twats but i just it's a british thing uh so i'm kind of a writer uh i work in marketing uh there's this oh oh yeah yeah, yeah. okay wait, wait no that's the dude who introduced starlight's uh co costume to her it's like the marketing Dude, for, uh, for Vought. Accidentally turned into ice. Happens. Still in there. Oh, oh, oh. It snapped off. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Fucking Terminator 2 to him. Imagine what one would do if she found out you've been lying to her from the kickoff. Butcher, they can hear you, but... Why don't you take the talking stick and tell us your story? Nah. Nah. Dollar defense mechanism. But you don't have to do that here. This is a safe space. Mm-hmm. Gonna break him down. Split your spine. Or broke your dick. Just for a laugh. Where's your fucking rage? Damn. Your self-respect! Fuck letting go. You should be out there with a fucking chainsaw going after him. Uh, fuck. Yeah, Butcher just has like a hatred for superheroes. I'm gonna need you to make a public apology. Mm. And you're going to be taking a sabbatical from the seven. What the fuck is a sabbatical? Mm. But my heart was. And it's just that, that damn ocean land. They wouldn't let this me. This is not about the dead dolphin. No, no, no. Yes, this is about Starlight, bro. What about Starlight? Everybody see. <laughs> the way he was like, what about her? Like you do? This is the way we are handling things now. Ooh, okay. And I sincerely apologize. Wait, did they know that? I don't think she went public with who it was. It's consensual. I now realize that um, I misread the moment. Our new movie, Insurrection. <laughs> it's really exciting. God. Oh, Seth Rogen. The, uh, in the Vought Cinematic Universe, uh, the VCU. <laughs> the VCU. <laughs> this man is the rapist. <laughs> okay, fucking Omen. Put it the good use. Wait, that guy looks so familiar. I, I think I should know who that is. 
Wars, which I think is some bullshit. But with the SEC Who the fuck are you? Why don't you take a peep and see? Ooh. Yeah, he doesn't have to actually tell him. He just... Is that his daughter? Remember your old man? Hi, Charles. Get mesmerized to trust them. Bye. Hey, uh... Uh, the hug's hell awkward because, like, she doesn't really know him. But, like, it's different for him because that's his daughter. But. I don't really know you. Yeah, see? Don't have a DVD player. Why, yeah, why is that on DVD, fool? <laughs> My wife, Becca, used to hum the Spice Girls. She me around the fucking band, you know? That's why he likes the Spice Girls. That's why he referenced them. Okay, but, okay, going back to the last scene. With them in the in the meeting. So Butcher sees the superheroes a lot differently than most people. Most people look... I mean, like, okay, a lot of people... Like, that one lady who said, like, she was saved by that soup. But he, like, he like wasn't gentle with her. So she kind of, like... He kind of, like, broke her back. You know, she's at least grateful that she at least was saved. Because she probably would have died regardless. They don't see the corruption with the superheroes, but Butcher does. Homelander right there. Oh. Oh. That, okay. Yeah, it's a pretty justified reason to fucking hate superheroes then. Dude, fuck Homelander. I know this because she got tagged in that security camera right there. Oh, that's, okay. I, that was like in episode three, I think, in the intro. She sat here for three hours. Damn. That was eight years ago. And nobody's seen her since. Eva Homelander killed her. Or she killed herself, same difference. Damn. <sighs> Fuck Homelander, dude. I know what it's like to lose someone. Mm hmm. You and me. Oh. We're in this together. Okay, that's why he probably wants to help you. To be distracted by another bird. Yeah. Especially not the soup. Damn. Just remember do your friends. Oh, your enemies are. Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. Yeah, so Butcher relates to Huey a lot then. We're full of photos of parents you never met. Told. It was all fake. Of course, it wasn't even his fucking family. How would that make you feel? I wouldn't like that. <sighs> we need dude. to finish that tour. Soups are so fucking high maintenance, dude. Fucking diva. Please do it for me. Mm. Okay. Perfect. So great. So are we done? Damn. See how fast his facial expression changed? She can't talk or won't talk. That's what you're gonna tell us. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. So you're gonna use him to kind of translate for her. Dude, okay, I had a feeling something like that was gonna happen. Like, go walk it off! Walk it off! <laughs> you, you can't walk that off. Yeah, it kind of seemed like as he was gonna read her mind, it was gonna remind her of everything. And it made her freak. Better than any of those oxy junkies in the ER, or I can break your other wrist. <laughs> God. Dude, he's just gonna snap it right back into place. Now, do you have any bandages or a splint? No, I don't have a goddamn splint! Yeah. Where are you? Shake Shack. Really? <laughs> Cheese fries. Cookie dough concrete. Sounds good. Does it taste like lies? <laughs> <laughs> yes! Jesus Christ. Behind the scenes, just as much as we are to the... Oh. That's our ex. Oh my God. It's a private conversation, but... Are you filming, Courtney? I told you to turn the fucking cameras off. We cut, we cut a while ago. We we're setting up a shot for later. Oh my God. Don't run the fucking makeshift splint. Don't break his other hand. There's a camp in a, in a jungle. Oh, okay. She's a soldier. Use her as a weapon. Kind of light liberation army. Frenchie? You're dating a terrorist. Ooh. Fuck. Maybe she doesn't know like what she was fighting for. They were just making her fight. You know, she was blindly fighting. 
for that side. Home under blanket, do not eat God. Yeah, you want the fucking blanket now? Yeah. Fucking diva. Oh. Same as a baby. So the, okay, so the blanket reminds him of his trauma. Wait, why would Vok give Compound B to terrorists? Because yeah. the only is with Sergeant fucking Homelander. Yeah, just an excuse. Just um, a way to get them in the fucking army. Super villains. And maybe there's more of them. God knows how many. Holy shit. Okay, this is the clue. the fuck? It's like fucking Palpatine, bro. Creating two sides to fight each other for an agenda. Okay. Let's see what else. It's where she grew up. That Loki scared me. They killed her parents. Oh. They kidnapped her and her brother. Yeah, and they forced them to be soldiers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she did she's not voluntarily doing this. They're just making her do this. She just wants to go back and get her brother out of the Okay. She just wants her brother. Her name is Kamiko. Kamiko, okay. See? You gotta understand the full picture. And I sincerely apologize. What the fuck? Uh, okay, so I don't think Starlight went public with who did it to her, but they released that. And it just kind of turned the public on the deep. I mean, rightfully so, too, though. Absorbed in salary, same for your team, office space, in the flat. <laughs> He's a businessman. Homelander will be prosecuted under the full extent of the law. I like that. That's fair. Especially the last one. Except Homelander. Yep. Yeah. You know what he's done. Yeah. I really do. But it's suicide. Deal with us. Yeah. Him too hard. You're fucking scared. I'm fucking terrible. He's too powerful. Yeah, you could arrest him, but it's like you're not gonna be able to keep him. Like he'll he's gonna do whatever the fuck he wants. You literally have to kill him if you want to stop him. And if he goes rogue, we're all fucking we're all fucked. Forth as anything less than a roar. What the fuck is this? From Bond. The house always wins. God. Yeah, they're gonna manipulate any situation in their favor. So. Because if you watch that episode of Downton Abbey, then I'm gonna be one behind. <laughs> <laughs> Said she got cold feet. She got cold feet. Much of a risk. Mm hmm. Mm. Did she? Thought's well, pretty fucking powerful. So we are really fucked. No, we ain't. Nope. Never. We got everyone and everything we need right we'll here. Do it ourselves. We'll take down for ourselves. Yep. This is Tina Mitchell, oh, no. Department of Child Protection and Permanent. Fucker. No, you're not. <laughs> Tina, um, it's Mesmer. You met me earlier. Oh, whoa. He's oh, he's calling about his daughter. Cleo uh, didn't really want to see me today. Yeah. She was. I'm pretty good at reading stuff like that. So. Mm -hmm. When he hugged her, you could tell. Just, um, it's, it's okay, just... So what? Look after her. Is he gonna cancel this deal and then go fucking rat on Butcher and all of them? Because he looks pretty panicked, like he's about, like he looks anxious about what he's about to do. I'm sorry, the, uh, elevator... Aw, oh, he's gonna tell Homelander. A-Train said that you have some information. Yeah, we, um... <sighs> you said you were looking for a, um, French guy? Fuck. Where are these from? Shitty little $85 camera I put in my doorbell case. Oh, fucking a ring. Word, but I was hoping you could put in a word for me at Vought. Yeah, he wants his job back. I'll take any posting. Oh, uh, I'm just gonna blow him off. Probably steal his phone, too. I just want to be one of the good guys again. Dude, all right, he's dead. Butcher's gonna kill him. Oh, he knows Butcher's face. Is he listening for him? Yep. He knows exactly where Butcher is. It's my phone. Yeah, he took his phone too. <laughs> oh, fuck. You can probably just feel where they are or something. When I was born, I almost blinded the doctor. So, I had powers from the start. Uh, it's a fake story. <laughs> Curious. Yeah, he wants, he wants to know if it's manufactured or they're born with it. For me, New York has been such an endless Dude. shit show. Him and... Except for you. Starlight getting along so well, he just... He feels so guilty about it. You found me. Oh. 
Ooh, okay, okay. Good move, Huey. Good move. Huey. No, and Butcher said to stay away. I thought that was you. Oh, wait. Is he actually seeing? Ah, oh, boy, you really you have a lot of... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was about to say, is he really seeing him? Because that's what his friend did in the beginning of the episode. She is not the opposition. We could trust her. She's a good person. Yes. Okay, I mean, she could help us. Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe. She's, like, too good of a person to help you. But... And what do you think she's gonna do when she finds out you murdered Trent? She doesn't have to know that part. Okay, we can keep that when part. Yeah. You mean when she finds out? That's if she finds out. Okay. Now, I don't think she... Like, she... She's too good of a person to help take down Vought. She'll probably just stay neutral if she does know. All right. Well, that was episode six of The Boys. All right. This episode was pretty damn heavy. All right. Let's talk about it. All right. So that was The Boys season one, episode six. Got a lot of character development in this episode, I felt like. You know, we got to find out a lot more about Homelander and about Butcher. Specifically, both of them. We got, got to find out a little bit about Homelander's past and Butcher's motivations. Now, on like why Butcher hates superheroes exactly and it has a lot to do with Homelander and like yeah like you kind of kind of noticed that he kind of did have a specific hatred for Homelander the most because whenever he would talk about like oh fuck them soups he would mention Homelander the most right and that we found out why exactly in this episode and it's like it's pretty for a pretty good fucking reason too like Homelander and it's because and it's because Homelander you know he raped Becca which was butcher's girlfriend at the time and you know okay i remember a couple episodes back when butcher woke up and he was watching security footage of her at the park you know and he was just eating breakfast watching it he had the it was started off with the flashbacks of them together about him not wanting to go to the concert and then he was started watching the security footage and i thought that was like a live feed in the episode when i first watched that episode you know but it turns out it's from eight years ago of when it happened and then she sat at the park after 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 homelander did that she sat at the park for three hours just you know just in probably in just in pure shock just in pure shock from what just happened and then he said no, no one's seen her since so she either she ran off and she probably died homelander either killed her or she killed herself which you know, it's pretty fucked up. No, okay, I'm kind of thinking they're going to pull a twist on us later, and she's not actually going to be dead, and they're going to find her later on. Or that's completely wrong. I don't know. But, maybe, okay, but then, okay, fast forward a little bit into the episode. Homelander, he knows what Butcher looks like, and he flew off, and I'm assuming he went to go probably find Butcher, right? Well, I kind of assumed, okay, maybe he just knows where he is. Like, he sees his face, and Homelander is so powerful. He's just like, uh, he's right there. And he goes to him, but maybe not. Maybe he's going to go, okay, you know, back to the Vought building, and then just kind of, like, do some research on Butcher, find out more about him. Because, like, he looked pretty hard, specifically at Butcher. Like, he recognizes him. And then maybe he'll find out, oh, he was connected to that girl, Becca, if Homelander even remembers her. And then he's going to go and find Becca and then bring her back and use that as leverage against Butcher somehow. I That's just kind of a guess right there. But then we found out a little bit more about Homelander's backstory. So, yeah, we found out he, okay. I know, okay, they said it in the episode, but I think I was talking over it like a fucking dumbass. And I think they said all the soups are, were manufactured as a baby. Like they were born as a regular baby and, and, the, and then they got the V in them and then they got their powers, right? I'm pretty, but I'm pretty sure they said all of them except Homelander. I'm not too sure. I might have heard it wrong. I'll, I'm going to go back and re-listen to it before I watch the next episode. But as far as I know, Homelander was... I mean, even if he, even if his powers are genuine or not, he was still raised in like a horrible situation. Kind of like L from Stranger Things, you know, kind of like that situation. It seems like he has a lot of trauma and kind of made me think, okay, so he has like this thing for Stillwell, right? she's kind of like a mom figure to him and he finds comfort in that because it I mean if he was raised in a lab he never got like that he never had a good like mom figure with him so it's like that she's like nurturing him though like you know 
it seems like she's like nurturing him and like it makes him feel comfortable because he never had that and she provides that to him and that's kind of how she like she manipulates him and like doing what she wants him to do and like what's best for the company and shit and then him having to like do that promo of like him going around oh yeah when i was a kid blah blah you know all that he had to make all that up it seemed like he was having a really hard time doing that because it's like well he never got to experience it and maybe he just emotionally never really developed right because he never actually had like a family like that and like it probably just brings him pain to think about it and try and like make something up and then we met a character mesmerizer right so mother's milk made a deal with him being like look i can let you see your daughter once a month for one hour if you help us out really quick right and it was also to keep his mouth shut okay but he got to meet his daughter so he's like okay i can trust them now like i got to see my daughter okay i'll help him out and then he found out what they were really like right and you know he got to see her past he got to read camino i think her name was i think her name was camino at first it kind of seemed like she was working for a terrorist organization but you know he went back a little bit further in her past and saw that like no she was being manipulated and used by them she wasn't working with them she was being forced to work for them you know and she doesn't she just wants to find her brother that's all she cares about right now so and frenchie has a soft spot for her so she's gonna help her find her brother i it's probably gonna be like a little story arc of them maybe frenchie and just her going to get her brother or maybe like a small low-key group and like they're not gonna tell butcher about it they're just gonna go and do it because frenchie cares deeply about her right and also part of the deal was like okay you can see your daughter once a month for one hour if you keep your fucking mouth shut and then but he obviously could read people when he read that he could just you know he read that on her that she doesn't know him that well so it's like she you know she was just being polite in that moment right because like you know she grew up her entire life without knowing who he is so it's like yeah why would she care about him she has no attachment to him whatsoever and like he knows that so he's like look this isn't worth it so and he also just wants to be back on the team and be for the good guys again right so he and he knows a train and he's like oh okay i know a train's looking for this guy this french guy and so he fucking ride on them the homelander so now homelander's gonna go on his way because he knows who they are now so and he knows all their faces so yikes yikes but yeah i'm gonna stop wasting time that was season one episode six of the boys comment down below what you thought about this episode and if you liked the video like the video and thanks for watching